I am at an interesting locale where you can find a uh, trebinescent hackmanite. What I mean by that is that you can find hackmanite. Well, that's just a white piece that's probably been bleached by the sun, but this piece, you can see that purple in there? That's the hackmanite turning purple. I might have here, this is a better piece. This is a better piece. You can see that purple. That's because when this so when this hackmanite is exposed either to the sunlight or to like UV rays, like short wave UVs, you get like a uh, purple coloration. Like here's another piece. You can see the purple on it. I've got handfuls of material that I've already found and I'm gonna keep digging I'll kind of show you like kind of what it looks like to dig in this area can't really disclose the location but uh, I can at least show you guys what it looks like to dig and show you some of my finds you can see this is all stuff I found little bits larger pieces with purple on it um, and some of it some of it only reacts under UV light and some of it is so uh, pure that the second you dig it out it just goes purple and some of it is a light purple and some of it is quite dark so I'll uh, I'll show you guys some more of the stuff I found and then show you how I uh, how I dig this stuff out also, a side note before we get back to the hunt. If anybody thinks I uh, kind of stole this idea from currently rock hounding, uh, I promise I didn't. I did this trip months and months ago before he ever posted his video. And actually, his video is a great uh, video on the topic. So, in the description below, I will put a link to his video because I think it's worth watching and he kind of explains what tenebrescence is and he does it, he, he will do a lot better job of me ever explaining it. So please do check out his video because I think it's well worth it. At this place, you either dig kind of in a, a trench or you dig the when they, when they dug the trench, there's a bunch of, uh, basically just discarded soil and rock that they toss to the sides and you can dig there too and it's kind of hard to see but this has got some good purple to it you kind of see that that just rolled out of there so i'm gonna keep digging there there might be more of this stuff but yeah hopefully i find some more cool stuff and i'll also try and show you uh digging in the trench because with the trenches you usually try and find the lines and then you can use the UV light to kind of follow the the veins of the hackmanite until you find solid pieces because a lot of it is uh, weathered and very fractured so a piece like this is a pretty good decent size look at that folks that just popped out of there and then basically what he's doing is just following the vein so you can see that all that orange He's just following that. So all that orange, the majority of that is going to be the purple hackmanite, the trebolescent hackmanite. You can see there's a bit of a vein or pocket down there. And he's just following that, and he's pulling out some pretty awesome pieces. He's found some really nice ones today. You can see in there some really nice dark purple, decent sized ones. So that's kind of what you do in the trench. You just find a vein and kind of follow it and use your UV light to track it. As already mentioned in the video and the uh, text, this hackmanite from this locale is tenebrescent, which means under shortwave or longwave UV light, it will go from a white to a purple or pinkish color. Under longwave, you can see it fluoresces actually like an orange, orangey yellow color, and then it goes. Uh, somewhat pinkish purple. It's a lot more um, vibrant in person than on camera. Though I've noticed when exposed to 
short wave light, the specimen becomes a lot more purple. And I'll try and do throw up right now, kind of a comparison snapshot of the purple from the long wave and from the short wave. So here are some bigger pieces that I found and I'll show you with the UV light. You can see they glow orange under UV light. When you hit them with a lot of UV light, it goes quite purple. You can see that purple in there. The camera doesn't want to pick it up as well, but I can tell you it is quite purple. But yeah, that's what you're basically looking for. Um, and there's other stuff. Like you can see with this piece, there is like these veins of it. So here you can see another example of a vein. A lot of it, unfortunately, is quite shattered. But you can even see without the light, it just... The really high quality stuff just goes purple. And you can see that purple vein right there. But then what we're looking for is basically a spot where the vein is not as shattered for the the nice bigger better quality stuff that's a great example it's not as impressive as my friends but i've got a bit of a vein right here and i was just kind of following it and i managed to pull up this piece a good solid chunk in the middle a nice dark purple dot so i can't complain it's a nice little piece i'll definitely take that with me but as you can see you just kind of use the UV light and follow the orange bits and eventually you might find a more intact larger solid piece. Closer to the end of the collecting I started pulling out chunks with some pretty solid veins of this uh, tenebrescent hackmanite which I was pretty happy about but one of my issues that I had with some of these pieces is it had like the secondary growth of what I believe is some type, sort of phosphate mineral. Kind of this crummy white material here. Interestingly enough, it does fluoresce and it's actually slightly phosphorescent. So I know there's at least some type of phosphate or phosphor related uh, chemical in this mineral. Um, but it's, I believe it's like a secondary growth after the fact from like leaching and stuff. But a lot of the bigger pieces had this stuff on it. And so I uh, put some of the stuff in an acid bath because I heard you could remove this stuff with a quick dip in an acid bath. But then I totally forgot about it. So what happened was I had some pieces where the veins got very badly eroded and then some like these where they didn't get too eroded but you can see they have been, well, eroded, um, uh, dissolved. So that kind of tells me that these, um, these kind of hackmanites, I believe they're supposed to be like a soda light hackmanite combo, also has a decent amount of like carbonate in it, so like calcium probably. Um, and so some of the less pure stuff got eroded away pretty quickly. And then I came back weeks later, realized I had left them in an acid bath and pulled out the pieces I had kind of tested on and put in the acid bath. And these are some of the better pieces, but some of them turned out like this, where the, a lot of the veins got f totally dissolved away. Though, interestingly enough, the super higher quality Hackmanite seems, seems to have uh, stuck around. So the more high quality stuff doesn't really, isn't combined with the, the soda light and what I assume is calcite. And so that didn't get dissolved away, but everything else kind of did. Though that did inadvertently expose some pretty interesting uh, minerals, including these right here. So that is probably either like a magnet, magnetite or an ilamite. And then you can see there's some orange bladed crystals there and there. 
and these actually fluoresce um, a very light orange under a uh, long wave UV light. You can see some very heavily degraded orange bladed crystals here, here and here. You can kind of see the edges. But then you got these smaller ones here. And from my research, and I also did a most uh, hardness test quickly, I believe looking at the mineral species that can be found at this site, these are probably crystallized cancrinite, which is pretty cool because I haven't seen too many examples online of crystallized cancrinite. And on top of that, the, um, the uh, dissolving with the acid exposed a bunch of the green minerals. So the green mineralization is most likely like an argerine type of uh, mineral. And I managed to get some nice close-up shots of these very like fine green crystals, which is kind of cool. So, you know, a happy little accident with some of the pieces. And on the same tangent as close-up minerals, this was a chunk that I found that had some interesting black minerals. And I took some close-ups and I'm not 100% sure, but um, it might be ilmenite or maybe magnetite, who knows. Um, I don't think magnetite is actually on the list of minerals that can be found there, but I'm sure it's possible. I did test this with a magnet and it wasn't magnetic, but that doesn't always mean it's 100% not magnetite. But ilmenite is definitely on the species, the spe uh, mineral species list. So who knows? Um, it's an interesting piece and it's a cool addition to my collection because it's just a interesting uh, black minerals which might be ilmenite or might not be. Overall I think I did pretty good for my first time at this location and it's probably going to be my only time. Um, I think this was kind of a one and done deal. My friend got permission for to collect at this site and I think that was like the only time we could get in. So. But who, who knows, maybe I'll have another chance to go in. But I got to find some pretty cool stuff. And interesting note, um, the camera doesn't pick it up well, but the lower quality, the um, Hackmanite kind of fluoresces a lighter orange, whereas the higher quality stuff fluoresces bright orange. The camera can't even pick this up. But this piece was my best piece. You can just, just see how vibrant the purple is. And it's a sizable chunk with Hackmanite going all the way through the back. And you can actually see here, there's some partially etched calcite, or what I believe is calcite. But you can see there's purple. And this is what it looks like boosted under long wave UV light. It's even darker. So I don't know if the camera picks it up well. I would say on this trip I had a pretty fun time and I found some pretty cool specimens. I would like to thank my friend for taking me along to this site and showing me this site. And I thought I would quickly show you guys under in the dark some of these specimens under UV light, especially the pieces that I believe are bladed cankernite, because you can't really see those in plain light. Here we have that really nice piece of hackmanite that glows. It's just so bright that the, the camera can't pick it up properly, but it's just this really lovely bright orange color. But it's just so bright. Some of the Hackmanite I found, this piece is an example of it, it's kind of like pretty low quality um, compared to the stuff that is tenebrescent. This stuff only very lightly turns pink in some spots, but it's still under just a regular short wave UV light. And actually you can see the phosphorescent mineral that I was talking about. See how it leaves a bit of a glow after the UV light is off. But yeah, this is an example of kind of a lower quality Hackmanite, but still a pretty cool specimen for just under UV light. It's just that the UV light is so bright that it kind of washes it out. Here is that piece I was talking about with the Cancronite blades. You can see those two kind of really large kind of eroded blades and how they're like a very compared to the um, Hackmanite up here this is very 
like a light orange compared to this kind of very bright, bright vibrant orange. And if we look closely here where the blades are, but behind the black spot that is either ilmenite or magnetite, you can see the same kind of yellow, light orange yellow blades when compared to this very bright vibrant hack, uh, hackmanite. So yeah, that stuff I believe is um, some sort of cancronite, which is kind of cool. But the the kind of mineralized cancronite I haven't seen too many examples of, so I'm a bit unsure. But it, it says that it's possible at this locale, and I did a Mohs hardness test, and it seems to fall in the correct range of six to. 5.5 in the scale so who knows let me know what you guys think here's a really bright example of that phosphorescent mineral it glows it actually glows for pretty long thought I'd also quickly show you the kind of large chunk that has just like a flat face of uh, the hackmanite once again super bright it's just overwhelming the camera, but a very cool find nonetheless. Some more of that phosphorescent stuff, and then some more veins of that. Actually, higher quality stuff on the back than on the front, but very cool find. Thought I'd quickly show you guys what this specimen looks like under shortwave UV light. It's a very light peachy orange. There's actually some smattering of green. That's that blue. That stuff there, I believe, is the phosphorescent mineral. Yeah. Um, but then there's some interesting, like, there's some pinks. There's some greens. Yellows. Just a very interesting smattering. The rock is kind of a reddish purple. Very cool. And that high quality piece. The Hackmanite itself is almost like a very vibrant violet pink purple and the calcite on the back actually goes a nice dark red which is kind of cool so that's pretty cool and then the stuff that I believe is Cancronite goes like this mustardy yellow pretty interesting this brings us to the end of the video. If you like this type of video, please do consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. And please, in the comments below, let me know which was your favorite of the specimens that I showed you guys, which ones you found the most interesting. And please, folks, just have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.